Arise, awake, and stop not until the goal is reached. Swami Vivekanand. One of the posters here say this. And I'm going to be speaking about climate change and also how can you be, how can your goal be to be healthy, happy, and successful? Climate change is affecting everyone. Increasing CO2 is also a pollutant for the human brain. Increasing CO2 levels increase temperature. And this was what Nobel laureate Al Gore discovered and won a Nobel Prize in his Inconvenient Truth many years ago. But the important part is that CO2 is a pollutant for the human brain. Climate change is stacking the deck against a healthy human being. And heat stress, air pollution, and waterborne diseases are all influenced by climate change. Food supply, water availability, health, infrastructure, and cognitive ability are all affected and at risk. You've heard and seen on TV about Australian fires, forest fires. Some 3,000 homes have been destroyed, 33 lives lost, and over 26 million acres of space raised. CO2 is expected to go up to over 417 ppm by May this year, because of partly because of these fires. UN Secretary General, speaking in December 2019, said that when CO2 levels go up beyond 400 ppm, it will be an unthinkable catastrophe. You'll find that in Dalby, Queensland, Australia, experienced floods in 2010, worst in 30 years. And what is happening is that various species are being exterminated. And it is also said that by year 2100, 50% of the world's species will disappear or become extinct because of climate change. You find in Tabasco, Mexico, this is in April 2009, they had the worst drought in, in close to 60 years. Droughts affected the wildlife and livelihoods. Lack of water and vegetation during a drought, among other factors, can lead to loss of livestock and livelihoods. Extreme rainfalls, Dubai, January 2020. It's a land known for deserts. And the Minister for Environment and Climate Change said it was because of global climate change that this happened. Imagine that people could not even reach Dubai airport because of the flooding. It's practically unthinkable. In Tamil Nadu in 2015, there were extreme floods, and you can see, for example, the highway underwater. In 2019, at least 36 people died because the temperatures in India, in some parts of India, exceeded 50 and a half degrees. If you notice, the climate, the, over the last 800,000 years, the CO2 levels have not really exceeded 300 ppm. But now, they are, in 2019, there were 415 ppm was what was the CO2 level. Increased CO2 not only increases temperature, resulting in climate change, but is a pollutant for the human brain. 
which weighs only 2% of the body weight, but uses 20% of the oxygen that we breathe. Increased CO2 in the atmosphere means temperature increases that causes climate change. But a recent finding by Harvard University is that CO2 is a pollutant for the human brain. And I think this should be noted especially by people who wish to succeed in life. There was a study done by Harvard University in 2016 and it showed that people who were in a room with, six, with CO2 under 600 ppm and TVOCs, total volatile contents in the air, less than 50 microgram per meter cube, could increase their cognitive abilities by as much as 299%. And this study is available to be seen at thecogfxstudy.com. <clears throat> the, the Question, what is cognitive ability? Well, cognitive knowledge is having the right answer. Intelligence is asking the right questions. Cognition is the process of thought or knowing. In this world with 7.6 billion people, there is keen competition to succeed. We need to be healthy, happy, smart, and maximize our cognitive ability to succeed in life. My personal experience over 25 years at the Paharpur Business Center that now has over 7,000 indoor special plants is that if you hang around there for about seven to eight hours, you can increase your blood oxygen levels by 1% with a 42% probability. PBC's experience and the Harvard University study corroborate. We all wish to get ahead in life and succeed. The average, the median age in India is 28.3 years. And everybody wishes to get ahead and beat competition, whether in college, whether at work, whether when one becomes 90 plus or as young students. What is the way to improve your cognitive ability? The focus should be really on the bedroom where you have control, because that is where we spend one third or one fourth of our life. The, we must make sure that the TVOCs in the room are less than 50 microgram per meter cube, and that the CO2 is under 600 ppm. I think we cannot control the place where we work or where we commute, but we should be able to see what we can do to make our bedroom sparse and with least amount of things. No newspapers, magazines, etc., which give out VOCs. My very popular talk done in California, Long Beach in 2009, speaks about what I did for myself. I'm a, call it a pollution survivor from Delhi. But also it helped me to improve the CO2 levels and TVOCs unknowingly at that time. And now the Harvard University study also points in the same direction. With three common plants, areca palm, mother-in-law's tongue, and money plant, we found and we know that we can grow all the fresh air and also keep the TVOCs and CO2 under control. I put together this, pinned down my thoughts in a paper bag, how to grow fresh air, and it's too short a time to get into detail, but that talks about it. It is not, this climate change is not going unnoticed. It is being heard, but here's the people's Climate March in Washington, D.C. in 2017. Time magazine of February 3rd, 2020 issue talks about a youth quake. And it talks about dream big and fight hard. Something like 
what Swamiji said, maybe over a hundred years ago. Greta Thunberg, a Swedish teenager and climate activist, speaking at Davos in the World Economic Forum, spoke about averting a climate apocalypse. And she spoke about the fact that all investments in uh, fossil fuels and all subsidies should be eliminated. She's been nominated for a Nobel Prize, Peace Nobel Prize by the Swedish parliamentarians now. A suge humble suggestion for you, the World Economic Forum Davos has taken an initiative to plant, grow, restore, and conserve a trillion trees by 2030. Please do plant and look after a tree for yourself and also for your family. Thank you for listening, and I wish you good health and success in life.